change for thousands of families receiving food assistance. Yeah, the emergency allotment for SNAP benefits is set to expire at the end of the month. WMAR2 News' Mallory Faste explains how this will impact Maryland's economy because if it matters to you, it's a matter for Mallory. This is going to drastically impact grocery budgets. One woman writing to me that starting in March, her monthly allotment and SNAP benefits will go from $258 to just 23. And while this program wasn't designed to be permanent, the sudden change is worrying thousands of families, local food pantries and hunger relief organizations. The pandemic emergency measure started March 2020. Instead of basing SNAP benefits on household incomes, size and expenses, everyone was bumped up to the maximum for their household size. And back then, eggs cost $1.50, milk $3.25, bread $1.37. As of December, all three items cost more, with a nearly 15% increase in the consumer price index. And yet, come March, 600,000 Maryland families will have, on average, $170 less a month to afford groceries. It's going to have huge repercussions for the entire system. Maryland Hunger Solutions Director Michael J. Wilson said this abrupt change doesn't just hurt those experiencing poverty, but it'll have ripple effects throughout the whole food system. We know SNAP recipients are going to be hurt, but we can't pretend that it's just them that really grocery stores, farmers markets, farmers, everybody is going to be damaged when you take a billion dollars out of the system. The Maryland Department of Human Services stressing for the last year that these additional benefits were temporary with no way to make them up. We know that a majority of SNAP recipients are seniors, disabled and children, so they can't really make a change in their circumstances on their own. Um, this is going to be a really challenging time for all of them and for our state. Shawanda Johnson just recently started receiving her benefits. I have like three growing children and like they eat a lot. Even with SNAP benefits, she tries to stretch every dollar. Sometimes I do go to Dollar General, although some people be like, who shots at Dollar General? I do. <laughs> so I get some stuff out of there. Their prices went up on some of their stuff too. In March, she says she'll do what she's had to in the past. What I did was I called the 211 number and I asked them about the local food pantries in my um, community. Father-daughter duo Brian and Mallory Zimmerman with the Transformation Center are trying to prepare for the anticipated spike in demand. We're starting to see that uptick rise. I think that the more that people are understanding that their benefits will be cut, um, the more that they're trying to prepare for that. They recently acquired this warehouse to be able to stock up whenever they get a donation. But now that other pandemic resources have dried up, including a $40 million pandemic grant distributed to Maryland Food Bank partners that ended on December 31st, the concern is they won't be able to fulfill the need in their community. What's going to happen six months from now if we don't get the kind of connections that we need, um, our supply is going to dry up at some point. And then what happens when that happens? Maryland Hunger Solutions hopes the legislature will intervene. While the federal minimum is $23, several states have raised their limits with state funds. In New Jersey, the minimum is $50, and there's currently a bill to raise it to $95. In D.C., the minimum is up to $30, but new legislation could increase it to 10% of the maximum benefit per household size, which ranges from $28 to over $250. And last fall, Maryland's minimum increased to $30, but only for seniors 60 and older. For WMAR 2 News, I'm Mallory Safaste. And Mallory reached out to Governor Moore's office about this issue, and she's still waiting for a response. In the meantime, you can scan the QR code on your screen, and that'll take you to Mallory's report. There she has a link on what you can do if your benefits are going to be reduced in March, including how to find additional food assistance, and also how you can donate to local food banks and food pantries. If you have a matter for Mallory, you can email her at mallory at wmar.com or find her on Facebook and Twitter.